Hi everyone, and welcome to Stephanie Reacts to Ruby, Volume 3, Episode 6, Fall. I wonder if it is fall, or is it fail? One minute. Alright, fall it looks like, the title's called. So do I, do I say you could fall out the tournament, if it's the fail out the tournament? So that's better, they failed, they took the fail. But fall? I don't know what fall is. Could it even just somebody like fall, fall down, fall up? Fall could be anything. Fall could even be a team name in this ruby. Anyway everyone, let's jump into this and see what the fall's all about. And we'll see it right now. Wait. Well, it comes as no surprise that they've chosen you to move on to the final round of the tournament. Your performance mm -hmm. has been exemplary. So I just spoke about her pin, but the last I would episode. I never have made it this far without my teammates. Personally, I think it's the other way around. The teammates would have made it for you. I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've been introduced. Name's Crow. Crow is a trusted colleague of mine. Professor, these if you don't uncle. mind me asking, why have you called me here? Please, take a seat. What is your favorite fairy tale? I'm sorry? Fairy tales. Stories from your childhood. Surely you must remember some of them. Well, there you? there's the tale of the two brothers. The Shallow Sea, The Girl in the Tower. What about the story of the seasons? Oh, of course. A callous old man who refuses to leave his home is visited by four traveling sisters. The first understands his reclusive nature and urges him mm. to use his time in solitude to reflect and meditate. The second brings him fruits and flowers, tending to his crops and revitalizing his cool. home. The third warms the man's heart. Convincing him to step outside so and embrace new the world around him. Or something we know. And the fourth and final sister begs him to look at all that he has. It's like Harry Potter. It is, with three brothers. In return for their kindness, the man grants the maiden's incredible power. Did you story thing? they may continue the, to help others all over the world. With the whole crocs. They graciously accept and promise to the, no, the death share house, their gifts I mean, sorry, the house. until the end of days. Winter, spring, Summer and fall. The four minutes. Right. Fall. My mother loves that story. Would you believe me if I told you that one's been around since I was a boy? <laughs> You're not that old, Professor. Well, would you believe me if I told you it was true? <laughs> I beg your pardon? What if I were to tell true? you that there were four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power? Without dust. You mean like a semblance? Like magic. I. Yeah, first time here, and it's pretty crazy. You're probably buying them, maybe. Curious. Do I look like I'm joking? No. Why? Are you telling Why her? are you telling me this? Hi. You're one of them, watch us. We are telling you, Pira Nikos, because we believe that you are next in line to receive the Fall Maiden's powers. We? Ooh. Sorry, we're late. Wait. What is this? Who are you? You know who we are. We're still the same teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Except we've got a little part-time job. We are the protectors of this world, and we need your help. Nice. You're asking peppers to fall. Where are we going? The vault. Under the school. Yeah, I was close about to the end. He did. He did. 
Grande. Good job, should be sworn not to tell anybody. She can escape now, she can just go up. Yeah. Come here. I'm sure you must have questions. Maybe one or two. I'll see you four. I still don't understand. You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maidens have existed for thousands of years. But much like in nature, the seasons change. No two we summers are alike. Powers. When a Maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host, ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. So, how does the power choose? Through a series of stupid and convoluted rules. Crow. Hey, don't get mad because I'm right. At first, the only thing that was certain was that the powers were specifically... So she had to get to know him, I think I says. If all of this is true, why keep it secret? If this girl is so... Brotherhood chose to remove the maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away in the legend. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history. Religion. But that's classified. Wrong. The feeling is mutual. But desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life yeah, you will become aura. intertwined with yours. The question is, what's that gonna do to you? I'll change her. You have an important decision before the There's no guarantee this transfer will work. And there's no telling if you will be the same person if it does. Three, two, one, uh, go. Fight! Wow, come on, come on, Yang. I don't want to make him for me, right? Well, I want Yang to be right, because... Because, have you, man? What? What? Why? Mercury! Why'd she do that? 
Why'd she attack me? She attacked her. Hand. He was about to attack her. So everyone, that was Fall. And that's what Pyrrha is going to become. Fall. They made enough Fall. But they did save that lassie. Her power transfers to the last person they've seen. But the hard last person was her attacker. And he stole half of her power. So, if she dies, the rest of her power might, uh, might track the other side, the other part of it that's been stolen and go to them, or it might just go to the other person, because that's who she last saw. So they have to try to connect Pyrrha with this Ember lassie, or Amber woman, and once they do that, Pyrrha may not be the same. She could be half Pyrrha, half Ember, or Amber, whatever the name is. I'm going to just call her Amber. A half pyrrha, half amber, she could be. Or she could be full pyrrha, or full amber taking over. So all these powers raging through her. Then she has to go out and try to kill to get rest of her other powers back. She said she may not be the same person. She could be evil, she could be good. I don't know this. You just might know if you've seen all this already. But I've not. So, yeah. After that, we saw Yang and Mercury fighting. I actually thought, I wanted Yank to win, and I actually thought, thought Mercury would win, I did, but then Yang bet Mercury, then at the end of it, it confused me, we saw Mercury saying, it's not over yet, and Yang said, yes it is, and he tried to attack her, and she punched him, and the leg broke his leg, but then we seen all the security guards run to Yang, like tearing her off and stuff, and told him to stop the cameras, but then when Yang looked up in the camera, they didn't show you him attacking her. They showed you her attacking him, the other way about, for no reason. And everybody else sees this, but then attacking, well, her attacking him for no reason. But we did see the Grim up top. Could that be like a hallucination maybe? Then she's seen him come to attack her, but he never. I don't know that, but confused me. I was like, what? What happened? Oof. Well, everyone, well, thanks for watching this reaction. And I'll see you for beginning, beginning of the end. So until then, everyone, have a great week. Bye.